Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have an exciting adventure plan as we take our paint brushes and canvases outdoors to capture the beauty of nature on canvas. My name is Jan Mendesondra and I am thrilled to guide you through this immersive experience to painting in the great outdoors. Finally, after three hours of traveling, we arrive in Mambukal Resort and Wildlife Sanctuary. As an artist, we often find inspiration in the world around us. There's no better way to connect with nature than by painting outside, surrounded by the very landscapes that ignite our creativity. So let's gather our supplies and head out to our chosen scenic spot at Tranquil Park by the river. Before you come to the area, first things first, we need to pack our essentials. Make sure that you have your portable easel, paints, brushes, palette, water container, and a variety of canvases. Don't forget sunscreen, a hat, and a comfortable chair to ensure a pleasant painting experience. As I continue, we continue to find some best spot for us. I wanted to have a good subject of trees, flowing river, rocks, and a distant lake. And now, I found my best spot to capture the beauty of nature into my own canvas. It's time to set up and start mixing our colors. Take inspiration from use of nature around you. Experiment with blending and layering to recreate the intricate play of light and shadows. Remember, the goal is to capture the atmosphere and mood of the moment. After one hour of painting, I finished this masterpiece and I am very satisfied. During our second day here in Mambukal, we tried to take a little bit of journey to enjoy what we really came here. To feel the nature and have a special treat for you as we embark on an unforgettable journey into the heart of nature. For adventuring deep into the mystical forest, walking alongside tranquil rivers and encountering some of the most fascinating wildlife. You can also do some tricking here going to the waterfalls and have some exercise. And one of the scenic attractions here are the giant flying foxes. It has some species known as large flying fox 
little golden mantle flying fox, golden crown flying fox, and island flying fox. These flying foxes are protected by the government and capturing them are prohibited. What a majestic creation of God. Let's join together to protect them from poachers so that our younger generations can see them in nature, not just in photos. Mambuka Resort has a lot of things to offer, including the hot spring pool you can enjoy partying. It has a good benefits to manage our blood pressure and improve blood circulation. If you decided to stay overnight, they have also plenty of beautiful available rooms for you to stay. You can choose from two packs to family rooms depending on how many people you need. If you don't want to stay overnight, you can choose the cottages to stay during the day at cheaper price. You can enjoy the hot spring with small and big swimming pools. At the morning, I found this young wolf snake feeding on a small resort. This place is inside the forest, so we will expect some wild animals we can interact with. Just like the snake, just don't kill them and let it go. As we venture deeper, we stumble upon this serene riverside oasis. The crystal clear water dances over smooth rocks, creating a mesmerizing melody. It's a perfect spot to take a moment of stillness to reflect and recharge amid the symphony of nature. Rivers are one of my favorite subjects in painting. I love the white foam hitting those rocks creating a good and relaxing sound. You can also find a beautiful lake inside this resort. As you watch, you can study the water reflections and colors of the water. You can also observe some fish species that are roaming around the lake. As we conclude our journey through these breathtaking landscapes, I'm reminded of the profound connection we share with the natural world. Walking through this forest, alongside rivers and amidst wildlife, we are reminded of the beauty and the resilience of Mother Earth. It's a reminder to tread lightly to protect and preserve these precious heavens for generations to come. Let's give thanks to our Lord for giving us a beautiful nature. Thank you everyone for watching. To God be the glory and God bless you all.